so this is the motorized uh, gyroscopic uh, apparatus. This is the solid disc. So uh, for this solid disc only we are going to calculate the moment of inertia. So this is the point where we are going to keep the different masses and this is the horizontal distance from the center of the disc to the uh, point at which we are going to apply the mass. So it will provide me that L distance, it is fixed 0 0.225 meter. We are going to keep different masses at all the uh, uh, different uh, readings. So 0.5, then 1 kg and then 2 kg. So this disc will rotate at some RPM. So this is called as spinning velocity. So it is nothing but omega. So spinning velocity we can get it and during the spinning action of this disc when I am going to apply the mass on it, it will start rotating. So disc is rotating about its own axis is called as spinning velocity, spinning angular velocity or omega and during this rotation this gyroscope will rotate about the vertical axis. So it is called as angle of precession, uh, axis of precession. So this angular displacement we can measure it from this, uh, uh, from this uh, protector and through which we can, we, can, uh, we can calculate the time required for that specific, uh, specific angular displacement. Now in this experiment, we, for example, we have set up 30 degree. So for 30 degree angular displacement like this, 30 degree vertical means precessional angular displacement, how much time that disc will going to take? That we are going to note down. We can measure the RPM, we can measure the RPM from this point, will you please? We can measure the RPM like this. So we can, we can get to know the RPM from this point. So here I have rotated and when it will rotate, accordingly it will provide me the speed. Now let us just perform the experiment. Let us turn on the main power supply. Now, if I go on increasing the speed, let us keep some weight on the, so these are the three masses available. So 0.5 kg, 1 kg and 2 kg, right? So we are going to note down the time with the help of stopwatch. So this is stopwatch. So as soon as we will start taking the reading, we will turn on the stopwatch and we will note down that how much time it takes to, to complete the 30 degree angular displacement. So let me just increase the speed first and let me set the RPM. So now you can see it started rotating. So sorry. Let us keep mass first. Thank you. Admiral, what's going on? 